The Volumes of Truth, Volume 7, The Word of My Mouth, November 3, 2009, From the Lord, Our God and Savior, The Word of the Lord Spoken to Timothy, For All Those Who Have Ears to Hear. Behold, my words shall never pass away. For as I am, so also is my word. For it proceeds from me, being manifest by he who is true, also being called the word, living, always feeding his flock the word, which is written for their nourishment, which is to be received through that part of himself, which is also in me, the spirit called holy, which speaks to the truth of who I am, glorifying him who I sent to you who bears my name, and reveals my glory in himself, even as I am glorified through him, his glory being the same I own. For we are one, from the beginning, yet manifest as two in the earth, so those whom I have chosen may know me, and come to me, and receive life. For I am the Lord, and I do not change. Thus says the Lord God, My Son, there are some among you who have endeavored to seat themselves at my table, who yet resist my word in the volumes. They long to hear my word, but at the same time, refuse it. For they cannot bear to hear the truth of my word spoken to this generation, lest they feel conviction, deep within. For as it is written, so it is, even to this day. They come to you as people do. They sit before you, as though they were my people, and they hear your words but they do not act upon them. For with their mouths they speak flatteries, and for a pretense, show much love. Yet their hearts pursue their own way. Indeed you are as a lovely song to them, one who has a pleasant voice, and can play well on an instrument. For they hear your words, but they will not do them. Yet my people shall live by faith, and walk in that which was given them, already. For those who truly know me, pay close attention to my every word, and also give ear, and obey that which I speak presently, giving heed to that which is at hand, and given to this generation. Yet that which I speak at present, must be put first. Thus that which is contained in the volumes of truth, is foremost, and must be brought to the forefront, for all to behold. Not that this word is at all superior, neither shall it be considered inferior, to my word found in the scriptures of truth. For my word is my word. All I speak is scripture, and truth. And that which I speak in the hearing of my prophets, is written and put forth for the generation, in which it is to be received. Foremost. Whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. And as it was in all times past, where I spoke by my servants the prophets and they in turn, both wrote and spoke my words aloud, saying, Thus says the Lord. So it is at this time also, even during the end of this age, which is upon you. Again I say to you, that which proceeds from my mouth at present, is foremost, and shall not be put second to my word spoken aforetime. Neither is one a foundation for the other, as though the word proceeding from my own mouth, is in need of anything to uphold it nor is any other witness required, to prove my word as my own, when I myself, have spoken it. My word, stands. Therefore, let my present word, be shown to be in full agreement, with my former word. For it is indeed in perfect agreement with my word as it was, yet runs straight in comparison, with that which men have made crooked. Here is wisdom, few have considered, nor have they understood. If one who confesses me, lacks discernment, on account of ears which remain dull of hearing, and eyes, which remain dim in seeing, let them test my word, by my word, only. For any who test outside my word, according to the words or doctrines of men, shall fail, and be found in contempt before the Lord. For I alone, sit as judge. Indeed they have failed to see, that my word in the volumes of truth, also being called the letters is the rod by which the translations of men, are to be tested. A light, which shines upon the doctrines of men, to expose them, revealing them to be blasphemies and heresies before God. All of which shall burn up in the day, when the fire comes to test the quality, of each man's work. Therefore if one professing faith, be wise, he shall humble himself before me, calling upon the name of the Holy One for knowledge in where all understanding flows to the truly contrite, and penitent.
flowing in pure testimony, free from corruption. And by this only, shall one be wise in the reading, comparing that which was given, with that which is put forth once again, discerning the source, and the author, to be the same. One word, one book, one ongoing testament to my glory. By no means shall it be divided into three, says the Lord.